Dickey, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the New Mexico Lobos and the Baylor Bears? Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Bears looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The ball goes out of bounds. Time to pick up the defense here now. Nice fake. Controlling the ball. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the opportunity. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Watch the replay coming up. Takes the shot. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. He'll regroup the offense. High post screen. For two. Perfectly executed. That's a seven-zip run. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Trying to pack it inside. And he'll kick it back outside. The shooting guard takes the pass. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fed the low block. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Inside, the power forward with the ball. He pump fakes. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making the throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Inside, the power forward takes the feed. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the center gets the pass. Tries for two. And the ball goes out of play. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Puts it up, looking for contact. 
great play to take that to the basket. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Step out on that screener. He takes the shot from the baseline. He drains the shot. Tinsley is eager and excited to compete. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. With anticipation defensively. He keeps the dribble as they reset. On the outside. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The power forward gets the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Jumped in front to take it away. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The Bears go to the line for the first time in this game. First shot is good. Two at the charity strike. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy on the sideline. Move it into the front court. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. For two, perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. At the line. Count it. Working it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here's a double team. Shoots it. There was no doubt about that one. A turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as Bellman, fading away, impossible to block. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a screen on. He blocks the shot. Gave it up. They work the perimeter. The frustration right there. 
What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Perfectly executed. He looks for three. He shows the sweet touch. him in the paint but went elsewhere he fires it up drains it that's basic high post screen gonna use it there's the trap kicks it out leans in he puts it in with contact at all Working around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He wants the three. He hits it. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special mark, feeding the post. Blake draws the personal. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Nope. in Tinsley wants the fans to keep cheering you know Brad I think he wants the crowd to support him on his defensive possession double team now bad angle he launches a three no good A double team waiting there. When you're talking about the terrific block shot, though, he's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Four pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, Me? The Lobos will step to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Looking to move it around the perimeter. High post flashes for the ball handler. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. In there on transition, Brad. He tries the three. Got it. Wow, can we get slow mo, please? <laughs> Tries to turn the defense. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. It sticks. Both teams looking to get things going here. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Gets it to go. And the ball goes out of bounds. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
Unable to. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance really to win. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. There's the pick. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. We need an instant replay for this one. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Kicks off the lazy pass. Up it inside. Entry pass in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He puts up the tray. Baylor are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. Knocks it down. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. On the outside. Intercepted. Takes the pass in the paint, trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. Turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. From right at the circle, off the rim and no good. He nails the bucket. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that. He got the layup to go, and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. Number 24 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the shot. That's a 7 nothing run. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Fakes it. He pulls the trigger. Great shot. Gave it up. There they, they get that rejected. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. With a modest swipe, the defense is pressuring the ball and looking for the steal. you got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. He drains it. The Lobos have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Shoots from outside. There it is again. if they get a shot to go down here. And a momentary look from three-point land. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover racers are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Nick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Now the high screen. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Got the high pick in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Picked out of the air. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the top of the key. That's good. Double team now. Bad angle. He takes it away. The Bears are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He looks to run. Whistle for the foul. That right there is exactly what they expect from him. Hey, Brad, I like what he does on the court. He's the key or engine for this team, a bona fide superstar at his position. With one attempt. Misses it. Good job of offensive rebounding. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They're working around the perimeter. for the bomb. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. They'll work it around the arc. Picks off the pass.
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. It's good. Got some room. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Tries for two. Gets it to fall. <laughs> Big shot. Misses from the outside. At halftime, the Bears are up by seven. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Baylor did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys are given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Erin. Great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 24 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. For the deuce, the land. Let's go to the instant replay camera. Blake receives the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Jubilation. Ingram handles the feed. He does the sweet fake shot. High post flasher is open. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Tries for two. Kicking back outside. Edwards receives the pass. He strokes it. Rims out. Fake. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Cross court. Picked off. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. He strokes it. He buries it. The small forward handles the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He drains the bucket. The Bears lead by 17. They work the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up for two. Perfectly executed. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gave it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With a bucket, he's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. There's a high screen. He's got a nice shot fake. He takes the shot off the baseline. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. The ball goes out of bounds. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. The Lobos have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. They'll bring it up. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. Got a nice screen. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. He shoots from right of the circle. And he'll kick it back outside. He goes for the trifecta. He nails the shot. third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. He bombs from outside. Way off target. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. This should be an easy bucket. Goes up for two. The rub is on, baby. This one's gotten ugly. Gives it up. The three sinks it. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. For the deuce. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in an ice inside basket. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Draw some contact. He hits the shot. He intercepts it. Dump it inside. Fires away. Gets it to go. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Working back to the outside. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good.
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? With the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's an and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way off target. Jumps into the defender. The dribble gives it up from right in the circle. He hits it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He goes with a baby hook. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Great defense. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He drains it. Looking for a good shot. Got the shot if he wants it. Here's a double team. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. At the free throw line. No good. He hits the second shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was rocking on the box. On the outside. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gonna move it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Gave it up. Number 50 with the fake. Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. Taken away. Goes up for two. Yes. A 
to take some flight on the defensive end. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. Poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Jumped in front to take it away. The kick out. Up and inside. Picked out of the air. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. There's a double team waiting there. He comes away with it. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. Jump hook from the low block. Off the rim and no good. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. out of bounds and we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation hey Brad many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock possession air timeout situation let's see how these coaches fare tonight picked off gave it up that's a high post screen goes to the lane Sinks the shot. Whoa, screener caught one of the chops off the pick. The fake. There's the trap. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. you got to keep pressing. Rims out. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Number 32 makes his way back into the ball game. You think it's a good move, Dick? Yeah, it's a move you've got to make, Brad. This guy holds this club together. Well, partner, this one could go right down to the wire. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and the inside presence will separate your team from others. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Timeout on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'm looking for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Get ready. 
ready to bounce back into action here. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Here they come with a double team to stop it. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep following. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And yet another foul. Shot clock is dead. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Hits the second shot. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Yeah, they keep playing and continue to do what's got them this far, Brad. Can't change now. He lets it fly, and he misses the shot. Gave it up. He takes it away. They call for a T.O., Dick. Hey, time is their worst enemy at this point, Brad. They're going to have to bear down and get some stops, then convert at the other end. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going up. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Baylor graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.